What's up guys, Dragon here, and today I've got a spots video for you guys. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys a couple lines of sights on Berlin's wall, two really good grenade spots on Kowloon, as well as a, a cool trick I found with stun grenades to use uh, to allow you to be, just let you fight better in gunfights. So this first spot I'm showing you is uh, a, a good spot to defend a headquarters that spawns right here in front of me on the street, as well as an opening spawn route, or just any time during the game in which a gunfight gets happens in this area so you see it's on the right side by a flag is where you're gonna be kind of watching so if you get C spawn um, these guys will be rushing from a to come around here to try to flank uh, you see I'm gonna point myself right now behind that green dumpster and you see you can barely make out my head and uh, even then it's very difficult to see me and uh, you can't shoot through the dumpster at all um, I don't know if you, you can with Harden but without it you cannot so uh, it makes you a extremely hard to hit target and gives you just a good line of sight on that left side where that headquarters is or to cut people off coming from a flag so this second spot is going to be using the same this dumpster again, but it's going to let you head glitch on this wall to be able to counter this window over here. So I get killed by this window a lot when there's a guy up there. So uh, this is a good way to just kind of wait them out and pick them off when you get the opportunity. The only hard part, obviously, is trying to get a one person in the M16. So you got to be ready to put in a second shot and be quick about it. This spot is really good. Um, it's pretty obvious, but I don't see people use it a lot. Um, I don't know how it is in Captured Flag. I do know there's a flag right to my left, so this is a good spot, I'm sure, to defend the flag from this side. I don't know if people use it a lot in Captured Flag. I don't play the game type too much. But uh, in case you haven't thought about using that spot, there it is. This is a good spot to use when you're trying to flank up this left side to either grab the flag or to just defend this area or whatever if you're pushing up. And then, of course, you can hop on this tank over here, and you know, it's just a counter to the other side. Um, just be able to watch the other side. So the next clip, uh, so there's the wall I was talking about earlier. I'm kind of give you an idea of where you're looking at. And you see it's really hard to see you. It, well, you can imagine it would be hard to see you, uh, especially with that pole. It just kind of, no one really pays attention to that area. So the spot I'm showing you now is uh, you, if you look, if you hop on this windowsill and look over here, you can kind of see this, you can see the hole leading the beam. So if you, uh, uh, don't if you're not worried about being shot from anywhere because you are kind of in the open. This allows you to uh, throw stun grenades. Yeah, I fuck up a grenade here, but that's all right. But you know, throw grenades over there and just pick people off that are trying to go to B if you're quick enough about it. So it's a just a simple line of sight I found. Uh, nothing too fancy. So this is a cool little trick. Is you see what you do is you uh, if you accidentally climb over something, just hold right or left on the stick. I see I hold held right because it was closer. Um, and just you know. Just smash the hell out of the A button, and you can climb right back up um, if you fall off of something. And uh, this just helps in case you accidentally climb something, which I find myself doing all the time. And you see here, you can jump on this car, but there's a, a barrier, so you see here in a second, I can't run any further up. Uh, so I just thought I'd throw it in there because it's kind of interesting, because I found it right after I got that other... That I showed you how to do the climbing thing. So this is a grenade from uh, A side, fl A flag side. This allows you to uh, nade be almost close, near, damn near perfect. I uh, see here, if you pause it for a second so you can actually see what it looked like, but you see it kind of lands closer towards the wall, almost in the corner. So if you want to prevent that, you can either one cook this, you can sit in this spot and cook the grenade a little longer, because if you watch here in a second, if you look where it lands right there, it's not it's not too bad, but once it rolls a little bit, it bounces closer to the wall. So if you want to, either stand um, a little bit closer to the bottom of the ramp and then throw in that kind of the same spot, and uh, the grenade should land a little better on B. Or uh, cook the grenade longer so it doesn't blow, so it blows up right over top of me. So this grenade spot's really difficult. Um, it takes some good practice because if you're off by the slightest bit, the grenade will completely miss um, or bounce off the wall, as you'll see in a little bit. Um, I'll show you the wall I'm talking about. But this is a pretty tough grenade spot. It took me a while to figure it out, to find it, let alone figure out how to use it. So you see here, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be kind of going throwing at this intersection where the two buildings intersect. You see where I'm pointing at right now? If you throw it too far to the right about where I'm pointing at at this moment, you'll hit the wall and it will it'll bounce off and won't make it to B. And if you throw it too far to the left, it won't be close enough to B. So you see here, I kind of throw it just, from what it looks like the grenade kind of goes slightly to the right, kind of where I told you not to, but it's just the way where you position uh, it's just it's really hard to explain here's a pretty good like idea right there you can kind of see where I'm looking at when I throw it. I'm pretty much right at the intersection of the buildings maybe slightly to the right but it's one of those grenades you really need to go in the private match and practice so hopefully this is just enough of a, a guide to show you where you need to throw and you can just go practice it yourself but you see right there this wall to my right is the one I was talking about if you throw it too far to the right it'll hit that wall and it won't make it um, so it's, a grenade takes a little bit of practice. You have to get a sprint jump and everything with it to make sure it makes it. But if you throw it right, you'll see here it blows up perfectly on B. Lands pretty much dead center on the flag. Kills anybody on the flag, um, unless they have flag jack. So that's a really, really good grenade. Um, I don't know if you could use it for an opening starting round. I'm going to try and find out. Um, but it's a good grenade in general for defending that flag from C side. So this is the quick switch. So what's it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a stun grenade. 
and you'll see here in a second, and there's my pistol already. If, now, normally when you throw a stun grenade, uh, you'll throw it, and then let's say you try a stun grenade, and then you want to go, let's say you get in a gun battle with your MP5 here, I'll give you an example here in a second. All right, you're shooting, you're shooting, you're shooting, let's say you run out of ammo, I have extended mags, so it's kind of hard for me to do that. You throw a stun, you pull out your pistol, and you pistol whip them. But you notice how much quicker that was? Instead of throwing my stun grenade, then pulling out my pistol, um, I did it all in one fell swoop. What you're going to do is you're going to press the stun grenade button, and right after you, while you're throwing the stun grenade, press Y, and you'll pull out your weapon. And you see right there, look at that. Look how fast I pulled out my MP5 compared to normal. Which uh, I don't have, I, don't, I didn't put any comparisons in. This, I, I didn't do like, I should have done it side by side. Um, but I just wanted to throw this video out tonight before I went to bed. Well, I did it last night. So if you want to, you can go into a private match and you can just find to test it yourself and switch weapons and then try it with stun trick and you see it is it is faster. Um, so here's a really good way to use this trick. So let's say you want to pick up a weapon, but you want to go back to your primary. Pick up the weapon, throw a stun grenade, switch. Look at that. Picked up the MP5 and immediately went back to my primary weapon. Uh, this is a really effective way to pick up weapons quicker. And let's say you have two primaries. You know, if you're doing like the Scout Pro shotgun trick, look how fast I pulled out that MP5 and I stunned the guy and I threw my stun grenade, so I stunned somebody with that as well. So uh, it just allows you to be really, really quick in gunfights, and uh, it you know saves you anywhere from half a half a second or so worth of time. So you notice there, I did the stun trick, pull out the law, and then when I tried to pull it out again, it made me do the loading animation twice. Uh, it, it, so what happens is with the stun trick, it doesn't register some loading animations. So that's something to keep your eye out for. I see. Give you an example here. You know, let's say you shoot down some air support or shoot at somebody. Throw a stun. There's your HK21, and it just saves you a little bit of time. And again, if as long as you use your stuns correctly, not only will you get you know switch your weapon faster, you'll allow you to to stun somebody as well. So here's a good example. Throw a stun, and then look, there's the lull. So I'm just gonna loop the same original shot over because I'm gonna talk a little bit before uh, the video ends. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something, whether it be a grenade spot or maybe the switch thing is gonna be helpful to you. Uh, I haven't really seen anything about it, um, and I, I, I none of my friends knew about it. I've, I've actually known since, about it since Modern Warfare 2. You could even do it in. Um, so uh, it's a pretty cool trick. Hopefully you can find some uses for it. I'm gonna do some uh, tricks with it and see if I can find anything else. Uh, I tried it with equipment and it doesn't seem to allow you to pull it out faster. Sadly, it might work with just weapons. But you know, another good example to use this is like crossbows and ballistic knives. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you either enjoyed the video for some reason. I don't know. Uh, commentary was just pretty bland. Uh, or more importantly, hopefully learned something. So uh, expect some more of these. I did have fun doing this, and I would love to teach you guys more. But other than that, peace out.